Hey y'all, I'm really excited to announce another update to the QuickBooks Online integration. Historically, if you're trying to record money going out, whether you're paying a sub or it was a credit card charge, it's gonna be under this vendor bill category. Under this category, we have several templates here in my test org, but at the end of the day, the, the names are just names. And whether it's a bill or an expense created over here in JobTrend, historically, it's always gonna send over as a bill over on QuickBooks. But today's a new day. Uh, there is now the option to send over things as expenses. So if I go and I say, yep, I paid for plumbing and I paid you know, $600 to Big Ranch in this case, then I now can not push it as a bill, but I can choose to push it in as an expense instead. QuickBooks does require you to select which expense account. So in this case, we can choose between the different options that you know you have set up in your QuickBooks. I'm gonna go with my MasterCard here. And once I save that and click record, this is purely just a confirmation step at this point. I could change the date if I wanted to, but mark that as saved and, and it's sending off into space right now and coming back down to QuickBooks. So if I refresh, you'll see now I have this view in QBO button. That's a direct link to this thing but I'm gonna skip over to QuickBooks, go to my main page and see here, now we have that most recent expense created. So again, not coming through as a bill, it's coming through as an expense, hopefully trying to save you a couple extra steps. Uh, in addition to this, we threw in one other update is the ability to send over refunds as credit card credits. So historically, if you created any vendor bill with a negative dollar amount, let's do negative 1000, then you have this refund and credit option. The credits have, have been able to sync for quite a while now, but the refunds, we did not send those over to QuickBooks. That's changed as of today as well. So if you click the refund button, this is gonna show you that you can choose which QBO account. It's looking for the account under which it would put the credit card credit. So when you choose this, it's gonna push into that MasterCard account, update that, and same idea, just refresh the page. You'll see the button pop up to view it in QBO and also do one more confirmation step. I'll just click this magnifying glass and you can see the credit card credit's been created as well. So that's the update. Again, just trying to tie the knot and build all these connections to QuickBooks to make it as seamless as possible. If you have any questions, please reach out, support at jobtrend.com. Thanks so much.